Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another amazing science tutorial video. I'm Coach Spivey, joined with my son Jordan Spivey, and in this tutorial video, we're going to be going over Newton's third law of motion, also known as action reaction. So let's begin. So let's take a closer look at action reaction. Newton's first two laws of motion explain how the motion of one object changes. Newton's third law describes what happens when one object exerts a force on another object. And according to Newton's third law of motion, forces always act in equal but opposite pairs. So for example, the action, the fist exerts force on the jaw, on this man's jaw. And the reaction is the jaw exerts a certain amount of force on the fist. Now since this man applies more force to this man's jaw than his jaw applies to this man's fist, that's why his face moved backwards. But this is a perfect example of an action-reaction pair. And then if you look at this video right here, the man strikes the other man in the forehead, causing the man's forehead to go back. So if you notice, the action was the man's fist hitting the man's forehead, and the reaction is the man's forehead applying that force to the man's fist. So once again, action the man's fist exerts a force on the man's forehead. In the reaction, the man's forehead exerts a, exerts a force on the man's fist. So let's take a closer look at action-reaction pairs. So the forces exerted by two objects on each other are often called an action-reaction force pair. Either force can be considered the action force or the reaction force. And action and reaction force pairs don't cancel because they act on different objects. So that's a difference between Newton's first law because in Newton's first law, you are only acting on one object. That's why they canceled each other out. But in Newton's third law, you're acting on two, uh, two objects. So let's take a look. The action is you pushing on the ground and the reaction is the ground pushing back on you. So there are two things being acted upon, the ground and you, your foot. So the action you pushing on that ground, that reaction, the ground pushing back on you, they are equal and opposite. And that's what causes the, uh, the skater's forward motion. And then we take a look at this video right here. This man applies a force to the man's face when he slaps him. And the man's face applies an equal and opposite force to the man's hand. And of course, this man is not happy due to that action-reaction pair. Newton's third law of motion states, for every action, there is an equal but opposite reaction. This means that when you push on a wall, the wall pushes back on you with a force equal in strength to the force you exerted. So here's an example of that. The action is you pushing on the wall, the reaction is the wall pushing back on you. So equal but opposite reaction. This picture relates to Newton's third law as well. This picture also has an action and reaction pair. The action is the guy kicking the ball. The reaction would be the ball moving from the force of the kick. This shows that when there is an action, there is a reaction. So the action, the guy kicking the ball, the reaction is the force that the ball apply, applies back to the guy's foot. So let's take a look at Newton's third law of motion and how action-reaction pairs actually allow a rocket to be propelled into outer space. So let's take a look. When the rocket fuel is ignited, a hot gas is produced. As the gas particles collide with the inside engine walls, the walls exert a force that pushes them out of the bottom of the engine. This downward push is the action force. The reaction force is the upward push on the rocket engine by the gas molecules. This is the thrust that propels the rocket upwards. So let's take a look. So you got the downward push of those gas molecules and the reaction force is that upward push on the rocket engine by the gas molecules. So that's what actually causes that rocket to actually go up. So now you're going to write the action-reaction pair in each video below using your notes and knowledge of Newton's third law of motion. And I'll play each video twice. Let's take a look at our next video. Now let's look at our next video. Our 
next video. And now let's look at our last video. One more time. So at this time, ladies and gentlemen, take three to five minutes to write the action reaction pair for each scenario in each video. Now it's time for your check for understanding. And you're going to use your knowledge of Newton's third law of motion to answer the following questions. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this science tutorial over Newton's third law was beneficial and helpful. Once again, I'm Coach Spivey, signing off with my son Jordan Spivey. Make sure you have an awesome, wonderful, positive day. Peace.